In the currency quadrant today, looking at the Japanese yen future, I'm not sure the story really is today's movement in this particular currency. We're looking at a six day streak lower, but today the range itself wasn't very big. It was up 15 basis points on the high. March contract at about 95.34. On the high side of things, about 95.17. On the downside, which was only down three basis points, we're actually negative today versus the open, but slightly positive versus yesterday's settlement. Still amounts to be about six days lower or five out of six, depending on how you look at it. But also you're looking at three of the last four weeks lower, down 29 basis points this week alone, 88 basis points last week. So over a two week period, down over 1%. That's a pretty big move for the end currency futures. When you're looking at a situation where the US is definitely being favored in this post pandemic, economic recovery. It also shows up in the PMI figures, weak PMI figures in Japan overnight. And Japan is actually one of the few countries that didn't beat on most of the PMI and ISM ratings. And I mean developed nations, of course, you had Germany beat, you had the UK beat, the US beat handily, both in manufacturing and services. But the Japanese services PMI came out this morning about a point lower than estimates and still in contraction below that 50 mark. So that wasn't a very big positive for the Japanese econ economy and obviously not a positive for the currency either. And then of course, as I mentioned, you're looking at a very US favored market right now globally and the dollar's benefiting from that. The strength in the dollar continues as treasury rates are rising and the curve is steepening here in the US. So that's giving a tailwind pumping the dollar up reaching two month highs for the greenback today, which obviously is a headwind for the Japanese currency.